name is Darnell Suggs, this is my beautiful wife, LaDonna Suggs. Uh, we definitely want to thank Connie Haynes and Georgia First for having us this morning. Um, we won't be in front of you long, but we did want to take an opportunity to tell you a little bit about our foundation and also to offer uh, a few words of encouragement. Um, as stated, we are the founders of the Suggs Foundation Incorporated. The foundation was born out of our recognition of the importance of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and our sincere desire to encourage young others, young adults like yourselves, to take an interest in those areas as well. Um, Darnell and I were married on NBC's Today Show last summer in June, and we decided to use that national exposure to give a voice to academic and professional issues that affect our society. to pursue careers in the STEM fields, um, also assisting young adults in managing those critical life transitions, and promoting civic responsibility, community activism, and environmental protection. We founded the organization because there just aren't enough students such as yourself that make the decision to take an interest in the STEM field and challenge themselves. This epidemic is becoming more and more prevalent um, here in the United States, as we continue to fall behind other countries in these areas of study. In the World Economic Forum's 2007-2008 report on global competitiveness, the U.S. ranked 45th out of 131 countries surveyed in math and science. And we have only the 42nd highest secondary enrollment rate in these areas. These statistics are staggering considering the fact that the United States educational system is seen as one of the best in the world um, and it's home to our nation's, our country's most prestigious colleges and universities. It's projected that in 2014, just five years from now, 15 of the 20 fastest growing occupations in the U.S. will require a significant amount of math and or science preparation in order to compete for jobs in those fields. Which basically means that our fast growing markets and industries are going to be looking for innovators and inventors just like yourself that have a background in, in the STEM fields. Um, LaDonna and I both took an interest in math and science and pursued degrees in engineering. Uh, she got her degree in electrical engineering from Alabama and in University, and I got my degree in... Yeah. And I received my degree from Florida A&M University in computer engineering. But, All right, right now. <laughs> but it hasn't been long since we've been sitting right where you all are sitting today, really trying to figure out what it is that we wanted to do and what we wanted to be. Uh, but one thing that we both realized is that we were both analytical thinkers. We like to figure out how things work. We like to take things apart and put things back together and really try to solve problems, which are characteristics um, of what an engineer does. Once we made it by our mind that we wanted to pursue degrees in engineering, we definitely worked hard in the classroom in college. Uh, we got involved in organizations on campus, very similar to the, to the organization that you all are involved in here today. But we definitely took advantage of internships and co-ops. Uh, how many of y'all know what an internship or a co-op is? By raising hands. For those of you who don't, an internship or a co-op is an opportunity for you to work for companies like the ones you see here during the summer or during the semester and get real-world experience. Um, LaDonna had an opportunity to work for companies such as GE, uh, Raytheon, SAIC, um, Chevron, and we both actually had, had an opportunity to work for NASA. Uh, in 2004, um, I took an internship with the NASA Ames Research Center out in Mountain View, California, and had an opportunity to work on the Mars rover mission. Um, I work with some of the scientists and engineers out there to develop some of the code that they're going to use, well, that they've been using in future um, rover simulations. And what was so cool about it is that uh, the rovers, uh, Spirit and Opportunity, were actually on Mars at the time. So we got a chance to see some of those pictures that they sent back first and actually use some of those for some of the, um, for some of the simulations that we were putting code together for. Also, in keeping with this year's theme of lunacy, I too interned with NASA in the summer of 2000.
2003 um, at the Tibby Space Center in Cape Canaveral, Florida, as a part of the NASA Space Flight and Life Sciences Training Program. Uh, I conducted research on Arabidopsis thaliana plants to see how these plants would be affected by uh, environments that are similar to the types of environments that they would be in in a space flight type of uh, environment. The research was used to evaluate the most suitable agricultural environment to sustain a source of food for astronauts during space travel and also while on the International Space Station. Um, through our involvement in internships, we got great hands-on, real-life experience. We could go on, you know, for hours talking about the great opportunities, variety, and diversity that the STEM fields have to offer. But we're not going to do that this morning, but we would like to ask that you bear with us for just a second while we ask all of the high school freshmen and sophomores to please stand. Freshmen and sophomores. Thank you. 